This program is for educational purposes only. Before starting any health or exercise related program, consult your physician. Welcome to Your Body for God with Dr. Tony Gannam. Dr. Tony is the clinical director of the Body Pro Wellness Center in Santa Ana, California. He believes that maximizing your health is critical in order to function at your best for yourself, your family, and most importantly for God. Because the Bible tells us that we were created by Him and for Him. Time to maximize your health. Here's your host, Dr. Tony Gannam. Hi and welcome to Your Body for God Radio. This is Dr. Tony Gannam broadcasting from the Body Pro Wellness Center in Orange County, California. And it's my pleasure to be with you on a weekly basis to talk about how awesome God is and how he's made an amazing body. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you're at. I'm really excited about today's topic. We're going to talk about the glory of God in the human body. You know, for those of you who think of your body and your health as something that's just failing on you and it's just a liability, I want to show you that the God who created your body out of nothing is the same God who could turn your life around in a moment. He is capable of making everything out of nothing. And sometimes we all just need a little reminder about how amazing he is. So that's what today's show is all about. Let me first remind you that it says in Isaiah that he has held the entire universe in his hand and that he spans the entire universe with his thumb and his finger. In fact, I love saying the word universe because every time I say it, it reminds me that scientists say this all the time, the word universe, and the universe is actually Latin for the word, universe, which means that every single time they say the word universe, whether they believe in him or not, they are saying his name. He is amazing. And of course, we know that every knee will bow and every tongue will say it one day. But I want you to know it today. Not just say it, but know it. Is he your God? Is he amazing? Is he the creator? Did he make everything out of nothing or did he not? Because if he did, he can take anything in your life and make it amazing. And if he's everything he said he is and he's truthful, then you are his most amazing creation. And he sacrificed the most precious thing ever, his own son, the most holy and perfect sacrifice for you. And the Bible makes it pretty clear that there's only one reason we're even alive in the first place. We were created by him and for him. That life is a big worship session and that you need to be worshiping in the right way with your life, with your energy, with your talents, with your efforts, with your strength, with your soul. And that's what this show is all about. And that's what my ministry is all about is making sure that you are stewarding over your health in such a way that God is the one who gains from you. Don't you want to hear what I want to hear? Well done, good and faithful servant. Absolutely, I'm sure you do. Well, it's time to live that way. Let's talk about how amazing the body is. Let's go deep down into your genetics and just look at the DNA, which is inside of the chromosomes that are inside of the nucleus that are inside of the cell. I mean, you can't even see a cell without an electron microscope. And by the way, you have a hundred trillion of these things inside your body, a hundred trillion cells, but we're going to the most microscopic parts. Again, we're going to the genes, the DNA that's part of the chromosome that's inside the nucleus that's inside of the cell. We're going way deep here. Now, you know, technology is changing all the time. My father-in-law and I were discussing yesterday how my iPhone has more capacity and ability than even his personal computer at home. Now, he was amazed that something so small could function so well. But I want to take you again back to this first cell. In fact, before you were even made, let's just say the the first cell in your body, you were just conceived. It had all the genetic material that would make up your entire body. And talk about microscopic and light. If you took all the genetic material of every person who's ever lived and you put it all together, it would weigh approximately one-fiftieth the weight of a postage stamp. And yet, if I were to take all the DNA now in my body or your body and actually just put it end-to-end, it would be so long that it would actually 
reach from the earth to the moon 100,000 times. Are you beginning to get it? Are you beginning to understand that human technology, as much as we're advancing all the time, would only dream of having that much information stored into something that light with that much capacity? And what would it look like if we weren't limited by the laws of physics and the 10 dimensions that we supposedly live in? The four that we can feel, the length, the width, the depth, and time, on top of the other six that are supposedly, according to string theory and physics, supposed to exist out there that we don't even know about. You know, God is the one who invented time. He existed in a time, quote-unquote, in which time didn't exist. Isn't that incomprehensible? I mean, to understand that he lives outside of time and outside of the laws of physics, and that everything we see, feel, hear, is just something that is falling within the parameters of the laws of physics that he instituted, that he's outside of all that, that he can live in the past and the present at the same time and in the future and go in and out of time and space as he wishes. It's incomprehensible. And it's an important reminder that he doesn't need much time, that he can do whatever he wants whenever he wants to, and that it's our job to pray and know that we have an amazing God. I've seen God do some amazing things in patience of mine. I've seen him take cancer away from people. I've seen him help somebody restore their sight. I've seen him do amazing things, all the glory to God, because he deserves it. God's design is amazing, and it's everywhere. I love that a girl is born with all the eggs that she'll ever need, that they're already inside her when she's inside of mom still, that she has all the eggs that she'll ever need. Is that not proof that God already created something with the intention of procreation, meaning that the girl was already born with the idea of procreating? How would randomness already create something that's self-replicating? And it blows my mind to think that anybody could imagine that a random human being would show up on this earth, a female, and a random human being would show up on this earth, a male, at the exact same time in order to reproduce and perpetuate the human species. And all that happened randomly? That blows my mind. How can anybody call that scientific? What are the chances of something like that? Randomness making a human being and randomness making a second human being at the exact same moment. Complementary pairs, already programmed for procreation. That's just too amazing to me. And I love the fact that the Bible, something written thousands of years ago, would already have so much science inside of it that it cannot be invalidated. I mean, the fact that way back then they already knew that Adam was born out of the ground, And that the food that we're eating is also coming from the ground, God willing, like it's supposed to. And that because it comes from the ground and Adam came from the ground, that when Adam and we would consume the plants that grow out of the ground, that it would contain all the nutrients that we would ever need. And God actually said that in Genesis 1.29, the first chapter of the first book of the Bible written 10,000 years ago. And that the plants give off this oxygen and when we use that oxygen we give off carbon dioxide and that that feeds the plants and i mean cellular respiration and photosynthesis were not known 10,000 years ago but god designed them early on folks it doesn't take a scientist to heal you it takes an amazing god to do that and in exodus he made it well known that he's the one that heals you We're going to go to break, but when we come back, we're going to talk more about your body for God. Hang on tight. Coming up next, more with Dr. Tony Ganim here on Your Body for God. Stay with us. Hi, this is Dr. Tony Ganim from the Body Pro Wellness Center. God's created an amazing body and you're designed to thrive. I believe that if every cell in your body were thriving, they'd have to use fat like crazy to thrive like that. And I have hundreds of patients who live this way, burning fat and thriving. Would you like to be full of energy and burning fat at the same time? Well, I'd like to invite you to our free seminar titled Your Body for God. We'll talk about weight loss, the thyroid, metabolism, cholesterol, blood sugar, hormones, sleep, and more. 
We're next to Calvary Chapel Costa Mesa. It's a complete health and wellness seminar. It's God honoring and it's free, but seating is limited. So register now at bodypro.com or call 888-300-1888. If you've been looking for a health solution with godly principles and incredible results, then call 888-300-1888 or simply register at bodypro.com. BodyPro, honor God, find the cause, and be blessed. Welcome back to Your Body for God. Once again, here's Dr. Tony Gannam. Hey folks, I want to remind you that we have some upcoming seminars that I'd like to invite you to. We have seminars on becoming healthy, on overcoming your weight and your thyroid issues and blood sugar issues and more. And I'd like to invite you to register at bodypro.com. They are free seminars. These are seminars in which I can teach you a lot of information and uh, hopefully bless your lives. We have some upcoming seminars on exercise and other topics as well. So always go to bodypro.com. It's at bodypro.com that you can learn about our upcoming seminars and register. And I also want to invite you to go to our radio page at bodypro.com slash radio and download our archives. And you can also listen to them on iTunes. You can subscribe to our podcast simply by going to iTunes and typing in Tony Ganim, T-O-N-Y-G-A-N-E-M. All right, we're talking about how amazing God made the body. You know, he created light and dark. He created this before he even created man. He had man in mind when he created light and dark. You know, the way he makes light and dark happen is taken for granted. He doesn't just hit a switch and turn the lights off. He actually moves a planet. He rotates the earth so that different parts of the earth would sense light and darkness at the exact same time. So that in China, when it's daytime here, they can experience nighttime there. And when they experience daytime over there, we'd experience nighttime here. And it gives us the ability to turn things on, turn things off, turn on the body, turn off the body, make some hormones during the day, make some hormones during the night, different hormones. You know, the light that comes into your eyes causes your eyes to send a signal to a part of your brain called the midbrain. In fact, it sends it to a special part of your brain called the tectum of the midbrain, which causes you to start waking up, and to a different part of your brain called the hypothalamus that causes you to start making thyroid hormones and hormones that start to raise your blood sugar and get you going. This is what light does to you. And then when darkness hits your eyes, or starts hitting your eyes, I should say, you start making sleep hormones and hormones that make you feel tired. Less stimulation is coming into this tectum region of your midbrain. And so you start to make these GABAs and these melatonins, these hormones, these growth hormones that help you relax, recover, and heal, and go to sleep and turn off parts of your brain so that you don't hear things so easily and wake you up, so that you don't smell things that wake you up, so that you don't feel things that wake you up. But he turned a planet. Do you get it? You don't think about this when you when you wake up in the morning and think, he turned a planet last night, but he did. He turned a planet for you. He would do anything for you. In fact, he turned the planet, it woke you up, and it gave you another opportunity to serve him. You know how it's said in the Bible, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. It's an opportunity to serve God when that sun hits your eyes. And you get going and you and you function. But the light came into your eyes and stimulated this part of the midbrain. And other things that stimulate the midbrain are things like smells and sounds. So you hear the birds chirping, and that wakes you up, and it makes you feel very much like it's morning time, it's ready to go. The rooster felt the same thing, got the light to come in, and started crowing, and that wakes you up. Smells wake you up as well. Smells go to this same area of the brain. The first cranial nerve goes right to the midbrain, and it wakes you up. And this is why people use smelling salts to wake people up. So sounds and light and things that move in front of us and smells, these things wake us up. And I 
find it really amazing that God has created everything for us. The smell of something on the griddle, something being made that wakes us up, the sounds of the birds chirping, the rooster crowing, the sunlight coming in through the shades or through the window. These things get us going. They affect our hormones, and God made those things happen. He didn't hit a switch. He moved a planet. At the same time, at night, he's moving the planet during the day, and it, and suddenly it's becoming darker because he's moved us away from the sun. And as a result of that, we get less stimulation coming into the eyes, and we start to make these sleep hormones, as I mentioned earlier. Now, the same part of the brain that calms you down is called the pons and the medulla oblongata, and these parts of the brain actually have a lot of the nerves that are part of your senses, like your sense of taste, like the nerves inside your mouth and on the roof of your mouth, like the eyes. Many different parts of your body have these nerves, like the vagus nerve, V-A-G-U-S, not Las Vegas, but V-A-G-U-S, which means the wandering nerve that goes all the way around your body. It, it actually slows down your heart rate. It helps you digest and heal. It helps you recover from things. It helps you have sexual function. And these tend to be nighttime things. The You ate a dinner, you recover, and you heal. And you yawn, which vibrates the roof of your mouth. And you push on your eyes as you rub them because you're getting kind of tired. All of these things activate the pons and the medulla oblongata and calm your brain down so that you can make more growth hormone, relax, heal, turn the brain off, and sleep. Isn't it amazing that we naturally know to yawn vibrate the roof of our palate, that some people even snore in an effort to actually cause vibration of the palate of the mouth to cause them to go into a deeper sleep. I love learning about the body and how amazing God made it. And I love teaching it to other people because when people understand how amazing the body is, they have hope. Unfortunately, we live in a society and in a healthcare system that is trained by scientists who don't believe in a God in the first place. So we have a godless healthcare system that's not going to tell you how amazing you were created. They're going to tell you how much of a liability you are, how much you cost the healthcare system, and that you are destined to become less healthy. In fact, there's a law of physics called entropy that says that things, if left alone, become worse. And it's assumed that the human body becomes worse and worse every day and that we're destined to become less and less healthy as time goes on. We assume that as we become older, we're supposed to become more feeble. Remember, entropy only applies to those things that they are left alone, they become worse. But we're not left alone. We have God working on our behalf all the time, folks. And you already know this. I mean, if you've ever chosen to pursue health and you know you're healthier, you have just proven this wrong when it comes to the human body. If you get healthier with time, you have just proven that when left alone, the human body is supposed to get worse, but you are not getting worse. You're getting healthier because God is working inside your body all the time and making good things happen. In fact, this is Romans 8.28 right here. God is making all things work for the good for those who love him and are called according to his purpose. Hold on to that. We're going to be right back. Hang on tight. Coming up next, more with Dr. Tony Gannam here on Your Body for God. Stay with us. Hi, this is Dr. Tony Gannam from the Body Pro Wellness Center. God's created an amazing body and you're designed to thrive. I believe that if every cell in your body were thriving, they'd have to use fat like crazy to thrive like that. And I have hundreds of patients who live this way, burning fat and thriving. Would you like to be full of energy and burning fat at the same time? Well, I'd like to invite you to our free seminar titled Your Body for God. We'll talk about weight loss, the thyroid, metabolism, cholesterol, blood sugar, hormones, sleep, and more. We're next to Calvary Chapel Costa Mesa. It's a complete health and wellness seminar. It's God-honoring, and it's free, but seating is limited. So register now at BodyPro.com or call 888-300-1888. If you've been looking for a health solution with godly principles and incredible results, 
then call 888-300-1888 or simply register at bodypro.com. Body Pro. Honor God, find the cause, and be blessed. Welcome back to Your Body for God. Once again, here's Dr. Tony Gannam. All right, welcome back to segment three. This is Dr. Tony Gannam from the Body Pro Wellness Center, Your Body for God Radio, and we're talking about how amazing your body is. Folks, I'd like to remind you that we have some upcoming seminars. Again, you can go to bodypro.com. They are free seminars. There's no investment except for your time to learn something about how to steward over your body and become healthier. So I invite you to call 888-300-1888. Again, that's 888-300-1888. I look forward to teaching you something that helps you have more hope. A hope in an amazing creator and an amazing savior and a designer and a sustainer. His name is Jesus Christ and he does amazing things. Folks, from the beginning, he put us on a planet. He gave us everything we would ever need. Early on in Genesis, we learn about a cause and an effect. Adam and Eve chose wrongly and as a result, they ended up with an effect and we suffer from that effect even today. But the scientific world today doesn't have to believe in a cause and an effect. Yet they hold true to the scientific method that looks for evidence and looks for hypotheses and testing the hypotheses. But they don't have to believe in a cause and an effect in the first place. Let me explain. If you can believe that everything came out of nothing and that randomness was the initiator of this earth forming in the first place, that randomness was the what created the earth, then you don't have to believe in a cause and an effect. If randomness can develop an earth, then there doesn't really have to be a cause for every effect at all. And so we live in a healthcare system and a science system that doesn't have to look for a cause for every effect. You can merely just have an effect and not have a cause in the first place. Today, millions of Americans are being told they have high cholesterol and there doesn't have to be a cause for it. That you have acid issues in your stomach and there doesn't have to be a cause for it, that your hormones are off and there doesn't have to be a cause for it, that you have depression, take this pill, there doesn't have to be a cause for it, that you have high blood pressure, there doesn't have to be a cause for it, take this pill. Our bodies are dynamic. They're amazing. They're holistic. All the parts of the body work in union to make an amazing thing happen, just like all of us are part of the body of Christ. Everything inside your body is part of the body of you. And as a result of being dynamic, when your body needs more of this hormone or that hormone because your life changes and life circumstances have changed, your body will dynamically adjust and make something more, make something less. That's what happens. When I see elevated cholesterol, I know that there's a reason the body has high cholesterol. If I just seek out the cause, I'll find it and change somebody's life. If I know somebody has high blood pressure, I don't just accept it, but I look for the cause of it. So if I can find the cause, maybe I can remedy the cause or change the cause and cause the person to have normal blood pressure. I'm not treating the blood pressure. I'm treating the cause of the blood pressure, the unhealthiness that's behind it. Our bodies are dynamic. Part of the reason I can believe in this dynamic body is because I know I have a dynamic God. The word dynamic actually comes from the word powerful or dynamite. It is our powerful God who's made a powerful body that is self-adjusting and self-healing all the time. Our body is self-healing. Do you realize that? That the power that made the body is healing the body all the time. And not just my body, but 7 billion people on the face of the earth are always being taken care of by a great and amazing God who is making everything in their body work at the same time. My 100 trillion cells are being taken care of by God, while your 100 trillion cells are being taken care of by God, while the rest of the 7 billion people on this earth are also being taken care of by God, while he's rotating planets, taking care of solar systems, making sure that things and planets don't collide, and making a beautiful day happen with plans for you and me. We have an amazing God, and we have an amazing body. 
And God said it was his most amazing creation. And as I like to point out often, he folded his hands and said, I'm done creating after he created Eve. We have an amazing creator and an amazing creation, our bodies. Now, if you think of your body from the perspective of how amazing we were created, then you would steward over your body to make sure that it stays healthy all the time. The best way to be healthy is to stay healthy. A lot of people have something unhealthy happening to them. As a result, they have a symptom. And listen to this. How crazy is this? They have a symptom, and instead of trying to become healthy again, what they do is treat the symptom. And as a result of treating the symptom not becoming healthy, of course, they become less healthy and have more symptoms and maybe even side effects from the medication that they're taking for the symptom. If you treat the cause because you believe in a cause in the first place, your body might become better. How many people are choosing to do something unhealthy in an effort to become healthy? Do you know anybody doing lap band surgeries or HCG hormones or or eating five pellets per day or choosing not to eat at all or whatever they're doing, they're taking medications that are depleting their water so that their blood pressure goes down. They're hurting their liver to lower their cholesterol. Folks are hurting themselves all the time in an effort to be healthy. That just does not work, folks. Think about that. You should never do something unhealthy in an attempt to become healthy. That just blows my mind, and I hope it blows your mind too. All right, that's about all the time we have for today. But I'm hoping that you got a little bit of an understanding of how amazing your body is. And I want you to develop a trust and a hope in God and how he made your body. If you should ever want to learn more information, or should you ever be able to make it to one of our seminars, I'd love to teach you more. I only have a half hour on this show, and I hope you do listen to it on a weekly basis. But the seminars give me the opportunity to teach you more. And I actually develop the seminars to the audience that's there. When I have people that come with thyroid issues, I talk a lot about thyroid issues. When I have people with blood pressure issues, I talk about blood pressure issues. When I have people who have pain, I talk a lot about pain. If you're ever interested in signing up for one of these seminars, I'd like to invite you to call 888-300-1888. It'd be my pleasure to serve you and change your life. God bless you. You've been listening to Your Body for God with Dr. Tony Gannam, a doctor of chiropractic and a certified holistic nutritionist. To learn more about Dr. Tony's free nutritional health and weight loss seminars, go to bodypro.com. That's bodypro.com. The views and opinions expressed on today's program are those of Dr. Tony Gannam's and not meant to take the place of your doctor's advice. Your Body for God with Dr. Tony Gannam is sponsored by the Body Pro Wellness Center.